Nurses Only. Welcome. This is a collective reading for whoever resonates, so welcome, Zodiac. I may call out signs here. If I do, um, I'll uh, kind of let you know if I think it has to do with you or not. Here, I'm not seeing signs. I was called upon to do this reading, and this is about career. And forgive me for setting it out ahead of time. I'm trying to move things along here for me. Um, I didn't meditate on this and sit with it for a while before I did it. And it's funny because this reading, it does kind of come out like I was sort of thinking what was going on. Because I think here we show with the bottom of the deck is what this is, okay? Um, really working hard, you know, making it through nursing school, uh, maybe starting your career, uh, juggling family, whatever. Really doing the, you know, here's the thing about the Eight of Pentacles. My opinion, it's always positive. You read tarot. If you see the Eight of Pentacles, I don't know if it's reversed or something. It's just, it's just good. And this, so this is the overall energy. This is you doing the good work. Now, on the problem is, you feel like it's been a real struggle. And look at this. It's combative. And it's like, it, you know, maybe you're thinking like it shouldn't have to be this way. It's been so hard. Maybe you had to fight with, I think this is a career reading. That can very well spill in with nurses, particularly maybe into the home life, into love life, you know. Um, when the job is so much a huge part of your life, it takes so much energy and commitment. Um, but now we look at the position. This is kind of your past position, kind of where you're at. Having worked so hard, having felt so challenged, having had to kind of fight. This is like maybe also the feeling of, you know what, nothing was given to me. I had to fight for everything I got type of energy, which could be. Now, this is the card that shows what's blocking, what the problem is. And here we have the high priestess. So it's very clear to me that there's something you're not seeing. There's something about intuition, the divine feminine energy, the spiritual perspective here. Often seen too around Neptune in the 12th house energy here, the high priestess. And I think what uh, would be helpful, and we also have, this is advice from spirit. So I think what would be helpful is to look at this energy here, the five of wands, whatever you've had to go through um, after your hard work, which you probably feel like, and maybe understandably, shouldn't have had to fight your way through it. I mean, this could be like fighting with doctors over to try to save a patient's life over something that shouldn't even be a fight type of energy this five of wands but i think what spirit's trying to say here with the high priestess if you turn this around because it's kind of reversed here in the blocking position if you turn it around upright and use your high tuition and think of this spiritually and it's a spiritual channel so uh, really all that happened had to happen everything that happened even if you look back and cringe you know it had to be that way for us to be in this particular moment. And we have to be in this moment. We have no other choice. So it literally could have been no other way. So maybe try to perceive all of this. This also is training. Um, trial by fire wands or fire wands or actions. So this is someone, their sword being tempered. But maybe you don't look at it that way. Maybe you don't realize it that, that it's that way. But I think you should because we have the world coming up here as an outcome, guys. But this is advice from spirit. And this gets kind of important, I feel. Because this is the advice to fight. And people say, well, spirit's not going to involve... No, you do have to fight sometimes. Now, uh, swords are uh, words and language and thoughts. Uh, and I don't really think this is so much about your own thoughts other than changing this around to kind of put things into perspective. And I hope this reading can help with that. And look at it as uh, you have been through a test, uh, through a process of temperance, you know, where your sword has become very sharp and very strong. Um, and it was not for naught. It may have seemed that way. It may have seemed, the, the five of ones can often seem just like, pointless fighting too in a relationship it's just quibbling and arguing all the time but it always underneath of it belies something deeper right uh, but this is very serious this is drawing a line in the sand in terms of career work um, this is setting some kind of boundary this is standing up for yourself and it's like pretty brave because you see you know there's a fight here there's a fight here this is going in and, and this is not labor energy we're just going in and you want everybody to like you and you don't want any problems 
This is going in and saying, this is me, this is what I want, da, da, da. and however that works for you. But being that it's advice from spirit, it's kind of crucial that this is done. And maybe before you go and do this, looking at all of this in perspective and seeing that all your hard work and all the difficulties and challenges that you face that seem so unnecessary and pointless actually made you into the nurse you are today. And this is the nurse you are today. This is not an inexperienced nurse. This is someone that can stand up for themselves that, you know, is able to get the world because you don't get the world as the outcome unless you put in the dues, unless you pay the price you know, um, and with the world as an outcome, you could also look at that as a reassurance that you are really going to level up here. But I think this is a, a fight in hand. One thing that comes in mind is uh, in the general energies and astrology right now, this is a really important time for us to do this, just to, to stand up for ourselves, assert ourselves, and grab the helm of our direction and take control of our lives. And we are getting the world here. So this is a long cycle, a new cycle that we'll be entering into, leveling up. But how we go into it and how so it goes, how we start it, could end up affecting how we finish it. And we want to go into it as setting boundaries. This could be personal too. Anything that affects your love, uh, uh, work life and career. So it could be home too. But it's what you need to do because you're going in here and you're going to get the world. And also this could be like doing whatever you have to to cut off old negative uh, patterns that don't serve your greatest good, particularly thoughts and communication, changing that stuff. It could be a real battle. But again, we're starting this new cycle. This is very important. By the time spring rolls around, we'll all be going about our business. And if we don't uh, separate ourselves and make choices and decide the exact direction that we personally want to go, it's very personal energy here. Both of these are fives. Both of these are struggles. It's kind of like changing this old struggle into a new struggle that's very pointed and directed. This comes from maturity, wisdom, knowing when to fight, knowing what, what not to fight, knowing what to fight for, knowing what not to fight for. But you're going to fight for something here because when you go into this new world energy and you level up, you know, you want to go in there clean with not a lot of baggage from the past here. Um, you after you get the world, you're going to come out like a king or queen moving forward, guys. So thank you for that. Uh, let me know if you like it. Uh, comments are always helpful. Uh, if you can think of any mediums where you can share this, it might be helpful. It's a nurse's only read. Please do. Uh, appreciate it very much. And do subscribe. Hit the bell. I'm trying to make this a regular element of David Sky Tarot. Thank you, nurses, for all that you do.